The Texas legislature is still no closer to passing the governor's priority of private education subsidies. Thanks for joining us tonight. KMR Local 4's Kaylee Green shares what our local elected officials have to say about where education savings accounts stand and their thoughts on that issue. That story topping our news tonight at 10 from your local election headquarters. This week, the governor pushed for a compromise plan on public and private education, but there hasn't been much movement. We're probably still a long ways from um, uh, complying with what the governor is re requesting in a special session. From a practical standpoint, you know, it, it appears that no school choice bill is going to pass in this special session. It doesn't appear the House is even going to uh, consider a bill. Education savings accounts would subsidize private schools with public dollars. State Senator Kevin Spark says this discussion began before the regular session. It's just kind of disappointing that we haven't been able to come together uh, along with you know, the pu public school entities um, and come up with um, a viable plan moving forward that's going to give parents more options on how they educate their children. Spark says he's been visiting small communities and talking about school choice. They're not, for the most part, are not unhappy with the education in those communities. I don't see them being highly at risk. I know there are a lot of school associations that are, you know, screaming that the sky is going to fall if any type of school choice program gets put into place. That's not what we've seen in other states. State Representative John Smithy says he wants to listen to both sides and do what's best for kids. If we can protect our rural schools, then, then I've always said, you know, I'm open to considering, uh, you know, a, a education savings accounts because in, in, in certain instances that may be a good solution for some of, for some of our students. But he says it's a complex issue. You've got issues of accountability. How do you test all these students? You've got transparency issues of how transparent the funding process needs to be. Now, as of yesterday, Smithy said the Texas House did not have the votes to pass an education savings account bill. He says they're short 10 to 12 votes. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Thank you. Governor Abbott has indicated he will continue calling special sessions until the legislature passes something on ESAs.